Soldier suicides continue plaguing the Army, with six weeks to go, this year's total already equals 2008. There have been 140 active duty suicides. We are almost certainly going to end the year higher than last year. Which would make it the fifth straight year Army suicides have set a record. This is horrible, and I do not want to downplay the significance of these numbers in any way. The Army says there are signs of progress, that while the suicide numbers were very high in January and February, they have dropped. In fact, since March, the general trend line, with the exception of a couple of months, has been down. The Army's been steadily upping its prevention efforts, aiming for a culture shift among a battle-hardened group used to acknowledging physical injuries, like broken bones and gunshot wounds, but not mental troubles. Last month, it launched a new program aimed at telling soldiers their mental health is as important as their physical strength. Just like we do physical fitness, we need to bring them up to their psychological potential. But is the service doing enough, fast enough, to stem suicides? One veterans group says with the number still high, the perception is no. But in reality... I think the Army is doing the best they can with what they have. The Army says the biggest issue, it simply doesn't know why soldiers are killing themselves. There is no clear trend pointing to repeated war deployments or any other factor. But even without knowing a cause, the Army says it does need hundreds more mental health professionals and substance abuse counselors to help prevent more suicides. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, The Pentagon.